It's another Monday, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Lauren Wadsworth, and this is your KWHS News. Here's the latest news from the Counseling Center. The college visit lineup continues this week with the following school visits. Fort Hayes State will be here tomorrow, followed by Colorado Mesa on Valentine's Day, then UCCS on Thursday, February 15th. The reps from Adams State plan to be here on Thursday, February 22nd, followed by the Lamar Community College reps next Friday, February 23rd. On Monday, the 26th, the Barbizon Modeling and Acting School reps will be here at lunch to tell you about their school programs. Closing out February visits is CU Denver on the 28th. For those of you planning to attend Pikes Peak Community College in the fall, stop by the Counseling Center to sign up for PPCC's Application Day this Thursday, February 15th, when the PPCC reps will be here to help you fill out your application. They'll be back on Wednesday, April 11th to help with your registration for classes. One more important note for seniors, the Fountain Valley Scholarship deadline has been extended to February 23rd. Access the application online and submit it to Miss Abeta in the Counseling Center no later than February 23rd. Lastly for seniors, the Senior Panorama has been rescheduled for tomorrow at 7 a.m. in Bowers Gym. This means you still have one more day to buy your senior class shirt. Get yours in the Counseling Center for $15 today and wear it tomorrow for the Panoramic. Also remember to get your photos to Kiri Carmody. Please make sure your photos are seniors only. Credit Recovery Spring Session starts today. Remember, there is a mandatory orientation today at 3.30 in the cafeteria. You will meet your instructor and receive your access code for the pretest. If you cannot attend this orientation, you cannot start your session courses. Please see Ms. Dykus for information. Coming up, we're checking in with Miss Betsy in the cafeteria for today's lunch menu. Happy Monday, everybody, and welcome back after a nice long weekend. Hey, today we're having a chicken sandwich, and uh, tomorrow we're going to have a beef, bean, and burrito. We have one of those kind of things. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, remember to add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. When we come back, we'll have club news and fundraisers, but first, we're throwing it to Jeremiah Jones for a Gladiator Sports update. Happy Monday morning, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Spring sports will start practices on the 26th. You will need to pick up a yellow card to play. Get your card today in the main office. Remember, you will also need to have a current physical on file and your yellow card. Glads, the jazz band is looking for a few good bass and electric guitar players for next year. If you have the skills, please see Mr. King in the band room for audition information. Our forensics team hosted a national qualifying congress meet this weekend at WHS. Here are the results. Now hear this, NJRTC cadets. The outside guest forms for the military ball are now available in the main office. The deadline to return them is March 1st. Get yours early to ensure your date can attend the ball. In wrestling news, our wrestlers returned from regionals in Golden over the weekend and had some great results. We wish them good luck and great results on their next round of meets. In swimming news, Vanessa Nunn did really well at the state meet over the weekend in her races. Here's how she placed. And finally, in basketball news, both basketball teams took on Harrison Panthers on Friday night and blanked them. Our ladies showed their true colors right here at home and pounded the Panthers. Our men's team took their scoring show on the road to Harrison's court to bring home the win. Both the girls and boys take on the Titans from TCA tomorrow night. The ladies traveled to TCA for the 7 p.m. tip-off time while the boys tip off right here at Bowers at 7 p.m. Glads, there are many more games on the basketball schedule, so if you haven't made it to watch either of them play, you still have time to catch the action live. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this week. I'm Jeremiah Jones, and now back to you, Moose and Lauren. Thanks, Jeremiah. Remember, Glads, if you are having issues with another student and want to try peer mediation, Check with Mr. Munoz or Mrs. Hines to help get that process rolling. Student Union is open again in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. Be sure to have a sticker on your ID. The lost and found in the business office is growing. Please come check to see if any of these items are yours. 
Any items not claimed will be donated. Students and teachers, golden tickets are coming soon. Teachers, remember to hand out your golden ticket to that one student among all your students who deserves it. Students, if you get a golden ticket, remember to put it in one of the boxes for your chance to win some very cool prizes. Prizes will be drawn at the assembly on February 27th. Attention NJROTC cadets, the military ball is next month and ladies, it's time to start scheduling those appointments to check out your dresses in Becca's closet. See Mrs. HK in the library or Mrs. Melina in room 111 to schedule those appointments. Remember the dresses are yours to keep. Valentine's Day is two days away and Freshman Council wants to help you out with the candy gram. They are taking orders in the front lobby until tomorrow and will deliver them during first hour on Wednesday. Don't be like Regina George. Send your friends some candy grams. They are only one dollar. Okay, so you want something with more substance to show your sweetie how much you care. Then try the cakewalk on Valentine's Day. For just 25 cents, you can play and walk away with a tasty treat for your boo. That will be happening at lunch on Wednesday in the small gym. Come check it out. Teachers and staff, the purple toilet is back and is making its rounds. Remember, when the toilet lands in your location, you have to raise more money than the person who had it before you. Student cabinet members will come around after each class period to see if the toilet needs to be moved. So please do not move it yourself or have students move it. They will also collect any money you have raised for this movement. Thanks in advance for your participation and good luck raising pennies for puppies. And finally, the library is having another contest this month. So Celebrating Everyday Heroes. Check out a book this month and be entered to win prizes. Don't delay, check out a book today. The library would also like to remind everyone to return any overdue materials you may have hiding in your locker, car, or under your bed. Also, this is a good time to pay any late fines you have so they don't show up on your IC account. Hi, Widefield, it's Mrs. Veroni. I want to announce the winners of the door decorating contest. Those winners will receive a pizza lunch. Starting in fifth place, Miss Butala's class. In fourth place, Miss Collins' class. In third place, Miss Melton's class. In second place, Miss Griggs' class. And the winners of the door decorating contest are Miss Blunt's class. Congratulations and look forward to that pizza lunch coming your way. That's all for our news today. Have a great week. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Lauren Wadsworth. And this was your KWHS News. Come Monday, it'll be all right. Come Monday.